good morning. I moved hostels. We are in the new neighborhood. And I kind of like this. It's quiet. You know, you can walk down the middle of the street. Um, anyway, uh, you're going to have to forgive me. I did not have good sleep last night <laughs> for a different reason. But we'll get on with the video. Um, I think the one thing I wanted to talk the other thing is feel a little bit of congestion. So, anyway, um, I feel a little bit like, nah, let's go this way. Uh, I feel a little bit like Goldilocks trying to find the perfect hostel. And. I had the thought yesterday that I wanted to talk about. It was like, each hostel is just not quite there. <laughs> it's just not quite right. And like I got I got to this one and it's like decent area close close to at least one healthy food restaurant. Um, close-ish, a little bit further to another one. Not a, not a ton of options, but like fairly good location. Um, a little bit far from the gym, but like doable with a run. And they have a whole bunch of like really good tables. So the problem with the last hostel was there were probably six places to sit uh, more than that six places to sit with a laptop in the hostel and they had all these like benches with like cushions on them and like they were normal height but then the the tables there was only one there were there were two that were normal height the other ones were like you know one inch higher than the cushion and so like you're sitting there with like your laptop is like way down here and you're like straining your neck and I was like, oh no. The Wi-Fi was like fiber op I think it was like fiber optics, so it's like two hundred over a hundred. I was like, oh if you just had tables that I could sit and not strain my neck at. Um, and so I got here and they had like they have tons of tables and really good Wi-Fi speeds. And the the dorm like pod setup is like eh, kind of weird it's a little bit older um but they do have fans inside of the pods which is really clutch but anyway i got to the bathroom and it's like it's just a weird bathroom setup the there's like i don't know eight stalls four of them are showers four of them are toilets and all of the water from the showers runs like there are no drains in each individual stall the water and everything runs out of the stall into this trough that that runs along like the front of the all the doors so like if you're standing outside of the stall like you're, you're seeing like soap and stuff like that come from the stall out into the open and then like run and then it runs like along all of the stall um in this like little trough to like the the drain at the end and it's just like uh, it's just weird and then like all the toilets have this like i've noticed in pretty much since i got to southeast asia almost every toilet has like a hose sprayer like a manual bidet i guess I don't know what it is. I haven't bothered to look it up or use it, but anyway. Um, I think on like at least two of two or three toilets, like the, the water's just like, the water connection isn't secure. So it's just like dribbling water out the back. And so like, like the toilet, the, the ground for all the toilets is just wet and it's just like oh this is kind of gross <laughs> you know it's not like a crummy bathroom it's just like oh, it's just 
not quite there, you know? And that's, that's kind of the... That's the message I wanted to portray in this video. Um, but, all that said, I think, I think I found a keeper at this hostel. So, we'll see. Good Wi-Fi speeds, good area to work. It has a fridge, so I can make coffee. Um, I can store food. Uh, the bed is comfortable. That was another one thing with the last one. It's like the bed was just like not super comfortable, kind of hard, had like a big, you know, like hole in the middle uh, from all the people sleeping there. So, anyway, I questioned, you know, because I was looking at Airbnbs the other day and like, there are a lot of really good quality Airbnbs from what I can see. The problem is that they're all like uh, 18 to like 25 US dollars per night. But like you get basically a studio apartment with like in-unit laundry and like some of these places have like roof, you know, your rooftop infinity pool and like a fitness center and and whatever. Um, and so I'm uh, just I'm not quite there to biting. This hostel was nine dollars and fifty cents per night. I'm like, oh, is it worth like two and a half? two and a half times, two and a half nights of this hostel, is that worth, you know, one night in the, in the Airbnb? And so, I don't know, I haven't, I haven't, not ready to bite yet, but that's where I'm at. But that said, the, the more that, the, the more areas that I try, the more like neighborhoods and areas that I like figure out and where, where are all the big malls and where are the, the restaurants and whatever. So, building up my housing search map. But, I really like this neighborhood. <laughs> it's quiet and they're not um, cars whizzing by at 40 miles per hour or whatever. People being loud. I mean, it is Chinese New Year. I think yesterday and today were like the they are the big thing like all the fireworks going off and stuff so anyway call it there see you tomorrow